Hello and welcome back to a Flipping Mess Reselling channel. Today we're going to go over the um, items that I picked up at the Salvation Army thrift store. Um, this time I went on a Saturday and so I was not able to go for Customer Appreciation Day because I was at school during the day since school started back up. So um, these prices will be just as shown on the tags, not 25% off this time. But I still found quite a bit of good stuff, um, especially in the shoe area. So I'm gonna start with clothing and I hope you'll stay with me to see everything that I found. Okay, so the first item I found was this Jay McLaughlin dress. This brand always does well for me. This is a size small and it was $6.99. And this is made of the material they call Catalina Knit. You want to make sure that you put that in your titles. Cute little shift dress with pockets. Um, these typically go for $28 to $35 for me. I picked up this Eliza Jane dress. The main reason I picked this one up, I mean, it is beautiful, uh, but the main reason was it is new with tags. Eliza Jane, I'm more careful than I used to be with. This particular style was from Nordstrom. It retailed at $148, and I did pay up for this. I paid $9.99. Um, I'm hoping to get at least $50 for it, so you'll have to watch my what sold and see if I'm able to get that. It is a nice neutral color, so hopefully I will. Okay, this one, I love the bright, cheerful color. This is a joie dress or tunic size extra small and I paid four dollars and 99 cents really cute uh joie varies a lot I'm gonna estimate around uh 25 to 32 for that um but we'll see when it sells how it does Okay, this one I was hesitant to pick up at the price, but I went ahead and picked it up. It's Torrid Super Soft Line, and for whatever reason, these pieces normally do very well for me. And this one retailed at uh, $45. It is new with tags, but I did have to pay $9.99, and it's just a shirt. So I will let you know how it does. I'm hoping to at least get $35 for it, uh, but that may be wishful thinking we'll see okay i picked up these athleta leggings my original thought was whatnot because athleta does very well for me there um these are high rise so they're a newer style chaturanga crop and i paid 4.99 um i usually start athleta at five on my auctions so i would at least get back what i paid and hopefully more but at this rate, I'm um, not sure how much time I'm gonna have to get to whatnot. I wanna keep doing it, but between school and getting my another, a second master's degree and everything, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to keep it up. All right, I picked up these Airy Offline leggings. This is another brand that does well on whatnot. Um, it sells well for me on eBay too, just not for a lot, but I only paid $3.99, so it will be fine. This was a designer piece. Um, it is a Ted Baker shirt. Usually when I find Ted Baker, it's either a jacket or a dress. So this is kind of unique. Not sure what I will get for it. I like it style-wise. Um, it stood out on the rack. And I only paid $6.99. We'll see. Ted Baker, um, kind of weird for me because it retails for such a high price and some pieces bring a high price and other pieces like uh, you can barely move them so it just depends on if there's a market for that particular style okay this is three people it is a size medium super cute um and I did pay up for this. I paid $9.99. Um, and I'm hoping I don't regret it because most of my free people lately has only been going for like 25 to 30. Uh, I'm hoping I can get a little more than that for that piece since I paid $9.99. I like to get them for $6 or less. 
Okay, this is a Bowden piece. It is kind of plain, but I liked the little bell sleeve on it. And right now pink is a hot color. So I went ahead and picked it up. It was $9.99. I'm hoping for at least 30, hopefully more. And it was a good size. This is a 12 long. Okay. This was another joie piece. Kind of plain, just a sweatshirt with this cute ruffle detail. Um, new with tags. It's a size medium. And it was $6.99. Had they priced this one up to $9.99 or $12.99 like they do sometimes, I would not have picked it up at that. But for $6.99, I will take that chance. Okay, this is another Bowden piece in the same size, so it's probably the same person, 12 long. Cute, uh, more of a simple piece, just a sleeveless dress with pockets. Um, and this one was only $6.99. So again, I picked this one up mainly because of the price they had on it. Had they had it priced higher, I probably would have passed on it. Okay, this one I would call a gamble at this point. I used to always pick up J. Jill. Now um, I'm more selective. This is Pure Jill, which is one reason why I picked it up because Pure Jill and Love Linen, are um, those pieces tend to do better for me. It is a like full length duster or sweater dress, but you would need something to go underneath it. And it was only $6.99. I'm hoping for 35 but I wouldn't be surprised at this point if it only goes for 20 something, just because the market for J. Jill seems to be slower than it used to be. All right, this is a brand, if you don't know it, you wanna know it, it's Jude Connolly. Um, it's a Bolo brand, a size small, um, even better if you can find larger sizes, super cute animal print. It is a like slick knit fabric similar to Catalina knit, but um, almost closer to a scuba knit. And this was only $7.99. I usually get around 45 for Jude Connolly pieces. And you'll see some people marking these up to 55 to 75. With it being a small, I think it'll be on the low end for the scale. Okay. And these I may keep for my daughters or I may sew. It's Hannah Anderson. I usually pick up this kid's brand when I see it, um, as long as it's not stained or um, peeling, because it does well in resale, plus it's good for my kids. Um, it was only $1.99. Usually if I resell it, I get 15 to $20 for pieces. Okay, on to the shoes. These are um, Roper boots, and I don't know exactly what to expect on these. So I, I haven't sold this brand, or at least I don't remember selling this brand. And I paid $13.99, it's kind of hard to see in there. So we'll see what I get for these. I would hope around 50, but right now that's a guess. So you'll have to watch my what's sold. Okay, these are Naot brand sandals from Israel. This particular brand does really well for me, so I was excited to see it for only $5.99. Um, so we'll see how these do. I would say at least $35 on those. Okay, Monroe. This is a good comfort shoe brand. Most of them are made in the USA. It says Monroe American on the back. Um, and they come in narrow widths and wide widths. This particular pair is a narrow width. I paid $10.99 and I'll probably get around $35 for those. Oops. Okay. These, these are Danska with a Vibram sole and they have like a cover over the insole. That's why it took me a second to look. Um, these, I paid $13.99 for. Most dance goes lately, I've only been getting around $26 unless they're brand new. But with these having the Vibram sole and being waterproof, I'm hoping that these will go at least $30 plus. Some dance goes you can get $60 plus if it's the right style. 
All right, these are um, Stuart Weitzman, which is normally a good brand unless the style is just uh, too old and outdated. They're a good size, an eight medium, and I paid $12.99. These will go between 30 and 55. All right, here's the brand. We'll have to wait and see how the comps do. These are by Vera Moda. Uh, said made in Italy. They were in good shape. So I went ahead and just took a wrist and put them in the car. They're $12.99, but um, you should look up comps. I bought them based on experience because I know I couldn't do better than $12.99. So I will make something on them. I don't know how much of something I will make on those. Okay, these I paid up for, but I paid up for these based on um, experience. This particular style of Air Max does very, very well. And this is what we call a triple black with reflective. Um, it's probably the best color combination you can get. Um, it was $17.99, but there are some of these listed used for as much as uh, $75. So we will see what I get. Um, $17.99 was more than I'd like to pay, but um, given my sales in the past, I felt comfortable doing that. Cause I think for sure I'll get 50 hoping for a higher and and these are a size 13 which is a big size but not so big that it's hard to find a buyer okay these are La Fleur Randall which is a good brand um, but not necessarily super high on resale um, they were handmade in Italy I paid $11.99 and they're in very good condition. It looks like they've been at least tried on, maybe worn once, but that's it. Okay, these I picked up based on style. These are just Tom's, which is an okay brand, but not fantastic. They're a size 10, which is a good size in women's. Um, based on the style, these should go for about 45 or more. Um, and I'm looking for the price I paid. Here we go. I paid $13.99 for those. So those will be fine. Okay, this is a brand I've never picked up before. I really like the style. It reminded me of um, Le Artiste, if you've ever seen that brand before. Um, but they are called Vera Cruz and they're made in Spain. And the comps on these look good. They look like it'll be like 50 to possibly $75. So I think these will be great. And I hope I find more. Um, and I paid $9.99 for those. Okay, Sam Edelman. Sam Edelman is a steady seller for me, especially if you can find them brand new. These are lightly used, but not bad. Even the pointed toes in good condition. I paid $9.99. I would think I can get 30 or maybe a little more for these. Okay, Donald J. Pliner. I pick this brand up a lot, but I do watch the style. Look for a newer style. These look either new or almost new. And I paid $13.99 for them. Those would be at least $50, hopefully more. Okay, this is a brand I love to find, Fit Flop. Usually when you find them, they're more like a sandal or a flip flop, but this particular pair is more like a loafer. There is some scuffing, but overall, not in bad shape. The bottoms actually look brand new. So the scuffing is probably just from being in bins with other shoes. I paid $10.99. They'll go for 30 or more, hopefully a lot more. Okay, and the last shoes that I picked up at Salvation Army are um, these Air Max. Um, I forget what these are called, the 2017s. Uh, these are 2014. So these are a size 7, again, triple black. Great colorway, great style. Um, these will do well. I paid $14.99. Um, these will be probably a little less than the other ones, but... I'd still say 50 to 55 for these. So that was my haul from Salvation Army. You'll have to let me know what you've been finding and what was your favorite piece out of all the things that I found at Salvation Army today. If you like this video, please like, 
comment, and subscribe. Thank you and have a blessed day. Bye.